Colorful has launched their GeForce RTX 4060 Smart Mini GPU. Gunner has launched a new Intel Arc A750 Index graphics card. Power Color has accidentally leaked the Radeon RX 7800 XT red devil and lastly intels has started working on their linux driver for xc2 gpu in luna lake this is tech track all right so firstly we have this geforce rtx 4060 mini which is smart mini that has been launched by colorful as you can tell but yeah it's a pretty decent looking card in my opinion it looks very small very retro not really retro but you know what i mean and also only with one fan and you can see the size colorful is used to making this kind of stuff even zotac does the same thing but we're seeing from colorful they have done something like that and it's really looking good honestly and as you can see this is a one fan design it's pretty yeah it's, it kind of reminds me of the zotac rtx 46 of oh, 3060 i should say not the 4060 and also the uh, i believe that was from evga but it was two fan design for the rtx 3060 but this one is only single fan design Kind of tells you that RTX 4060 is quite efficient enough, even though the performance is not that great because it's literally matching the 3060. In certain cases, losing against 3060, so it seems like it's not really worth buying this card with the price that it supports. So not really the worth the price, but if you're looking for an ITX build, this could be a decent GPU. Honestly, it's a pretty compact. It would fit right with any kind of I ITX build, even for any normal build but still i wouldn't really go for this gpu if you're going for a you know, normal big it looks really small in my opinion but if you're you know going for it this is perfect match next up we have a jingdong homepage here and you can see this is the gunner uh gpu we're looking at this is the gunner intel arc a750 index again a750 common thing but this is the index gpu a bit overclocked that's all we can see so it looks literally the same as the other models gunner because as you can see it's literally looking the same and this is the whole gpu we're looking at here again it, it has a, a certain different uh, texture as you can tell it's a dot or a chessboard design i i would call that chessboard because you know you can tell that there's a certain look in it so, but yeah gunner has made their arc a750 here which is looking pretty good and it also comes with the two eight pin connectors so again it's a decent gpu a750 is quite cheap you know and right now it's coming at 16.99 uh yuan i believe that is the currency so if you translate that it's still quite cheap in my opinion and yeah that's the back plate we're looking at here and that's the index naming they were going for this car this card here so it's not a bad looking card and it's arc a750 not the strongest card but also it's quite efficient and also in terms of pricing it's also quite good so you can you know, buy it if you want to next up we have a leak here a huge leak all the words just got this link here you just created this and when you go to it well there's really nothing because it has been removed but well, thanks to video cards they got to capture it instantly so let's look into it and as you can tell this is the amd radeon rx 7800 xt exactly it will be coming with 16 gigs of vram which is fine absolutely perfect in my opinion but it's the RX 7800 XT, so it hasn't been launched yet, and uh, it, it's a mistake from Power Color here. But I don't think it is a mistake. Usually they do this, not Power Color, any other brand. Even from AMD, they do this sometimes, you know, they say accidental leak, but let's be real, it's not really accidental leak. Oh, this could be accidental leak, but, you know, they, they're preparing for the RX 7800 XT launch, so that's why we get to see this mistake or slash leak who knows what that is but let's see the gpu here shall we and yeah it's the power uh, red devil i believe so it's a red accent so it's looking nice honestly because power color has already made their 6800 xt just looking like the same uh, like this you know even the 6900 xt or something but yeah it, it is looking nice in my opinion it looks very clean and that's the back plate again that i really like that aesthetic and there's a you know line that goes for right here so it's like the red line as you can tell it's pretty it's pretty neat also comes with two eight pin connectors so kind of expected i'm surprised it's not three pin so quite efficient i guess it really doesn't need that much wattage you know to but it's, it's a 7800 xt not that demanding but should be good in terms of performance and quite frankly we also have the spec that has been leaked alongside the gpu because the whole thing got leaked all together so as you can see the video memory 16 gigs cdu 6 memory stream processor 3840 units and the engine clock oh, 
his say it engine clock but core clock whatever that is and you can see the boost clock will be 2255 and uh or basically game clock the boost clock would be 200 2565 megahertz so looking pretty good and the normal one which is non-oc would be the uh the game clock would be 2210 and the boost clock would be 2520 so yeah kind of decent enough you overclock it it's not a huge overclock you get you know but still not bad the memory clock is quite fast 18 gbps and the memory interface is not crippled unlike nvidia which is 256 bits so that's nice and of course tx12 and the bus is pcie4 we get to see the die they just leaked everything so that's the die of course it's an mcm gpu so you can tell there's a uh, four mcds one gcd so you can literally tell that is the case here and that's the whole gpu we're looking at the heat sink i don't think there's a va uh, yeah there is a vapor chamber i believe that's a vapor chamber i could be wrong but i think that is a vapor chamber with the heat sink on it and the card is looking pretty neat because you know red devil's cards are always neat looking and aesthetically pleasing so yeah there you have it the gun uh, not gunner <laughs> red devil rx 7800 xt as we revealed by uh, bar color here so it's a mistake but also it's kind of interesting to know that this card exists and will be coming soon enough because they are preparing for it and lastly we have something interesting from foronix report here and as you can tell is that intel begins working on xc2 which is basically will be supported in a any lunar lake class uh, cpus here which is a uh, integrated gpu based on the battle maze architecture exactly so they're working on xc2 and already we get to see a driver input in the linux driver of course is that the static const uh struct whatever that is xc2 features which it mentions is an xc2 platform intel platform lnl meaning it's a lunar lake of course integrated and yeah that's the leak we're getting they will have started working on the drivers support for the xc2 meaning a battle maze architecture uh, and i think they already have worked on it and it's done working because they're working on the linux drivers but also i could be wrong they're still working on it because you know for certain testing and sort of things but they have started doing that and of course lunar lake is not launching anytime soon because you know battle maze uh, will be launched first i believe and then lunar lake cpus or i could be wrong about that but yeah i think it, it will take, take some time because they have started working on the graphics drivers for the lnl basically neural like igpu which is based on battle maze so we will be seeing some juicy information from this soon enough